A man lived in a small village. There was a mountain near his house where he would go every morning and sit on that mountain for a while and then come back. So as usual one day he was going towards the mountain early in the morning when his little son came from behind and held his hand tightly and said that today I will also go with you The man first explained him a little and persuaded that the path of the mountain is very rough and the climb is very high so you will not be able to walk with me But then when his son insisted the man agreed and both of them started climbing the mountain the man was holding his son's hand tightly there was a mountain on the left side and a ditch on the right side and the path was very rough both of them were about to reach the top of the mountain when a huge stone came in the way Now because the man used to come daily from that way he knew that there was a stone there so he walked from the side but his son's attention was somewhere else so his knee went down and collided with that big stone a loud scream came out of that child's mouth and as soon as he screamed his voice started echoing in those mountains Before that the child had never heard the echo of his voice so he could not understand what was happening he was a little nervous inside and thought that maybe there is someone hiding and watching him and making fun of him then that child said who are you so when that child heard that echo he got angry he thought who is it that is making fun of me Then he said angrily that I will not leave you and then as soon as he heard that echo he got scared again his father understood what was happening he held his father's hand tightly and asked him who is it that is troubling me so much who is it that is scaring me so much his father smiled a little and he looked at the ditch and said aloud I love you very much. Hearing this, the child was shocked and did not understand what was happening. Because the same person who is making fun of him and troubling him is telling his father that I love you very much. So the man looked at his son and he understood what was going on in his mind. And then again he said, "You are very good." and hearing this his son smiled a little and asked his father what is happening then the man explained to his son that this voice you are hearing is not someone else's it is your own voice which is echoing in the mountains and you are hearing your own voice you hear exactly as you speak If you say something out of anger there will be anger in the voice that comes back but if you say something good that voice will also be good exactly the same thing happens in our own life as well as you think about this life in your mind this life becomes exactly the same for you if you keep telling yourself in your mind that my life is very bad then your life will be really bad and if you love your life then your life will love you too this thing entered the mind of that child deeply and then both of them went to the top of that mountain but the same thing was swirling in the child's mind and then the child laughed and opened both his hands and said with all his might i love you very much My dear brothers and sisters we can make our life awesome by good thoughts hope you love this story thank you so much see you in next video with a new inspiring story jay shri ram jay shri krishna